Next up, first step in the content audit, before we even start doing a content inventory where we figure out how many pages we have and what we rank for, we wanna start with the basic keyword research framework. So here's how I think about keyword research, when you need to do it and how to do it. So first off, you'll do keyword research when you're trying to figure out which pages on your site need to be optimized and which ones don't. When you're launching a whole set of new pages on your site or launching a new domain, or when you're shifting strategies as a business. Say you no longer have one product line or you're trying to add a new product line, you'll do keyword research to support those launches. Now, my keyword research always starts with the person in mind. Who is searching for our business? If we sell water heaters, what are the type of people that are searching for water heaters? People that probably need water heaters, people who live in probably colder climates, you know, that kind of framework. And in our case, who are the type of people that are searching for kids' health-related stuff? Well, you get a hint by just looking at the homepage here. Parents' site, advice on children's health, behavior, and growth from before birth through the teen years. I imagine that parents who are interested in their kids' health are searching for this rather than the kids themselves. So what kinds of keywords are kids uh, are parents typing in? Probably pink eye or maybe strep throat is really common amongst kids. So let's go and take one of these keywords, plug it into SEMrush and see what this site tells us. So I'm gonna start by doing strep throat. Okay, you can see 823,000 searches a month in the US happen with this keyword. 37,000 uh, keywords that have a, a piece of this phrase. And then it also tells you who ranks one, two, and three. What we can do here is go through the list of, of sites and look at each page that ranks. Let's take Healthline and see what other keywords this page ranks for. Because essentially what we found out is that if we wanna rank for strep throat, we gotta create this kind of page and then if we create this kind of page, there's a question of how much traffic will we get and what other keywords will we rank for? So Healthline, which has this page that ranks for strep throat, also ranks for 2,700 other words and brings in 160,000 visits a month. Here are some of the other keywords that they rank for. Strep throat pictures. I imagine people searching for strep throat want to see some kind of picture. The symptoms are really important signs of strep throat similar to symptoms. So all these kind of keywords should be on our page. We should be writing about these things and this is how we're gonna rank our page for as many keywords as possible and bring in a lot of traffic. And that's my framework for doing keyword research. You start with the person, then you figure out from there what kind of keywords that person would search for. You find competitors whose pages rank for those kind of keywords. And then we break down the page and figure out okay, what's on this page, how many keywords, how many, how many words are on this page so then we can outrank our competitors. And that's how I do keyword research.